Hey guys, welcome to Coronacation Day 14. It is Saturday. And Saturday, remember, we wanted to encourage you to be outside. We're going to share a couple of games with you, but try to take advantage of this wonderful weather to be outside, hang out, practice some safe social distancing. Don't be giving people high fives. But um, let's see, we want to share a game with you. So today I want to share the game. It's super an easy one. It's called Would You Rather? And so all you got to do is come up with some would you rather scenarios or questions to ask your family. Um, Andrew, I'm going to ask you five questions and you better have the best answers possible. And then you could e teach them a game too. So let's see, Andrew, would you rather, um, let's see, during this whole quarantine, like the whole thing, would you rather not brush your teeth the whole time, or would you rather have to use uh, soured milk on your cereal? Which of those would you rather do? All right, second question, let's see. Um, would you rather, you got a whole bunch of extra time on your hands right now, so would you rather learn how to do flips, like back flips, front flips, just any kind of flips, or would you like to learn how to break dance? Which would you rather do? All right, question number three. Um, would you rather be quarantined with no internet? Bum, bum, bum. Or would you rather be quarantined with no sunlight? Like it rained and was just dreary every day. That's a tough one. All right, question number four. Would you rather be quarantined in a house where all the walls are made out of glass and so there's like no privacy? Or would you rather be quarantined in a house that's underground and complete privacy, but also no sunlight, just secluded? Oh my goodness, that'd be a tough one. And question number five, probably the most important question of all. Um, the question that I'm coming up with is, would you rather eat a hamburger or a hot dog? What's your answer? Here they are, five questions. It's just a game called Would You Rather. You simply ask different scenario questions of your family. Good way to get to know them. Good way to have a couple of laughs. Andrew, I'm curious what your answers are to those questions. One, two, three, four, five. Let me know, and then teach me a game. I'd love to play it. Happy Saturday. What's up, Corey? Here I am on this beautiful Saturday. Just doing some DIY stuff around the house, you know? because that's kind of what this month's been about. But you know what, it's time to take a break from that. And uh, I wanna play this game, this would you rather game that you taught me. So you asked me if I would rather spend this whole quarantine not brushing my teeth or pouring sour milk on my cereal. I'm gonna have to go with the gross answer here and say not brush your teeth. I mean, I'm just, I'm sorry, but I like good milk on cereal, so. Yeah, that's that. Um, let's see, number two. Uh, learn flips or break dance. Man, both of those take a lot of skill. I'm gonna have to say break dance. I feel like I feel like those guys might just be stronger. I don't know. Uh, break dancing would be pretty cool though, because then I would know how to dance. Because right now I don't know how to dance. All right, number three. You asked me quarantine with no internet or no sunlight. That's an easy one for me, Corey. Shut the internet down and keep it sunny outside. I mean, look at this. This is just beautiful. I'd, I would, I would take, I would take the no internet. I'd be all right with that. Let's see. Number four. You said quarantine with no privacy, glass walls all through the house, or uh, what was this other one? Underground, complete privacy. That's a tough one. That's probably the toughest one for me. Huh, um, I'm gonna have to go underground. That, the glass walls is weird. Uh, yeah, that one's, I couldn't do that, that's weird. Um, and number five, easy, easy peasy, man. Hot dogs all the way. I love some hot dogs. I love hamburgers too, but hot dogs are just so much better. Hey, so you asked me to teach you a game and I gotta round my boys up real quick. So uh, let me, let me just, let, I just gotta pass it back to you for a second, Corey. Um, here, you know what? Just make sure you go outside and um, 
it's gonna be in your bushes. All right, so here you go. Andrew, you're crazy. Hey, uh, I like your answers, and I would also be like hot dog 100% all the way, all the time. All right, I wanna know what game you're going to teach us today, so Andrew, let us know. Maybe you can get one of your boys to help. That would be awesome. See ya. Oh, got it, Corey. Thanks, man. All right, let's see. Okay, so here's the game. So this is called, where's my spot? All right. So we got, this is called two ball. So what you do is you, with one hand, you throw, you're gonna throw both balls at, at, the, at your opponent, and he's gotta catch both of them, one in one hand, one in each hand. He's gotta catch both of them. That's the goal. But if he, as long as he catches them, he's safe. If he drops one, that's one out. If he drops two, that's two outs. The first one to three outs is out, and they lose, and you win. So here's how it works. Here, Levi, you go first. You throw them to me first. So use both hands, or use, and, oh! I didn't catch that one, so that's an out. Now, if you throw it bad, if it's like a bad throw, then it's an uncatchable. But that was a good throw, I could have caught both of those. All right, so I have one out, you ready? Oh, Levi's got one out. Okay. Oh, both of them. All right, ready? Oh, I win. Good game. Good game. You want to play again? Yeah. All right. Well, let's let them play, okay? Let's let them play, and we will see y'all tomorrow.